Hey, Head Squeezers, I hope you're well. Uh, this question comes in from Kevin Shepherd through our G Plus community who asks, the armpit, what's it for and why is it hairy? Great question, Kevin. Now, I was thinking of maybe calling this one um, how the smell of your sweat helps you score or not. Uh, this video, I'm gonna uncover whether you should eat red meat and whether that makes you more attractive to the opposite sex or not, and the definitive answer from the world of science, who has the most potent BO, men or women? That's all coming up. First things first though, there are a whole load of theories as to why we have hairy pits. Theory number one says it's actually to uh, wick sweat away from the underarm so that you protect the lymph nodes from overheating. Theory number two says it's to lower down the friction, reduce the friction when you walk between your upper arm and your thorax. The third theory, and the one that I want to explore, is that it's all about sweating and releasing sex pheromones. Now, not to go all Sherlock on you, but you are giving out a lot of information to the outside world. Now, I'm not talking about a particular type of mud on your shoe or, or spotting a particular hair on your jacket. No, I'm talking about your smell. And while I'm at it, let's uncover why that smell is produced. It's kind of icky. It's all about the byproducts of microbial fermentation in your body's damp creases. In other words, you have bacteria living in there that are feeding off your nutrient-rich secretions and it is their waste that creates that smell. Gross. James May did a fantastic film last year all about smell and about how deodorant works. So we'll put a link up to that at the end of this film. Okay, so. Next question, what does your sweat say about you? Well, recent research suggests that sweat says a whole load of things about an individual's status within a group, about their gender, about their reproductive state in hyenas. But hey, hyenas are mammals, we're mammals. No, there is a lot of research that has been done on humans about this as well that suggests that the underarm smell does have a big role in attracting and keeping a partner. Think about it, you're in a club, you're strutting your stuff, someone comes up close to you, you think, yeah, they're pretty fine, but then you get a waft and it's all a little bit of a turn off. Yeah, baby. Yeah, but it's a lot deeper than that. Actually, subconsciously, you may be attracted or unattracted to their smell. Now, I'm not talking about Chanel or CK, I am talking about Eau de armpit. More specifically, I'm talking about your major histocompatibility complex, or MHC. It's, it's a bunch of genes that are important and linked to not only your smell, but also your immune system. It was a brilliant experiment done by a scientist called Klaus Vederkind. What he did was he asked some guys to wear the same t-shirt for a few days. He then gave those sweaty, smelly t-shirts to a bunch of ladies and asked them to choose a partner based purely on the smell of those t-shirts. And they found the t-shirts most pleasant from guys who had very different MHCs to them. Why is that the case? Well, it's really good because it shows they've got very different genes. So not only would it stop incest, that was one thing they thought, it would also mean that if they did partner up and have a kid, they would have a combination of those two different types of genes, different types of immune systems, and they'd have the strongest immune system they could. So there's clearly a whole bunch of different chemicals in play here. And the last one I want to tell you about is one called androstadionone. It's a steroid, a natural byproduct of testosterone. Now, researchers at Liverpool University set up a very interesting speed dating event. They gave a portion of the women some of that androstadionone just underneath their nostrils and, and the other portion didn't have that at all. They just had a placebo that smelt the same. And they found that the ones that were under the influence of that chemical rated all the men a lot more attractive than the ones that weren't. There you go. Sex pheromones are very, very important. And this is the idea that hairy pits can help release those sex pheromones out and have a real big impact on mate choice. So, time for the big question. Who has the smelliest BO, men or women? Well, the research was done by the Monell Chemical Senses Centre and they found it was men. Huh? Sorry guys, 
And bonus fact for you, women apparently prefer the odour signatures from men who are on a non-meat diet. So, our advice, best lay off the steak before a night out. That's pretty much it from me. Uh, if you do have any burning questions you want us to answer here at Ask Head Squeeze, all you need to do is put them in the comments below this video or even better, join up to our G Plus community page, all the details in the description below. Until next time, happy head squeezing.